I'm Mike DiMota, Curator of Living Collections for the National Tropical Botanical Garden. And right now we're standing in the middle of our uh, regener Regenerative Organic Breadfruit Agroforestry Project, which is part of the Breadfruit Institute here at NTBG. Uh, the Polynesians and the Hawaiians in particular did not uh, grow their crops as monocrops. In other words, one kind of tree covering hundreds of acres. Instead, they took advantage of the forest situation and grew things in an agroforestry setup. So here in this area, particular area, we have many different kinds of plants. Many of them are canoe plants, but there's also ornamental plants, fruit trees and so forth that are all part of the uh, diverse agroforestry system. Good morning. My name is Brian Yamamoto from Kauai Community College Cognition Learning Center. Uh, this morning, you've heard from Mike DeModa talking about agroforestry. Now we'll focus on breadfruit. You're now in Ulutopia, the uh, breadfruit research farm at Kauai Community College. One interesting thing about breadfruit is when it started out, it was a seeded variety, fruits that contain seed. But when the breadfruit reached the, the edges of Polynesia and Hawaii being one of these edges, uh, breadfruit was bred by the locals to be seedless. I want to welcome Marco Yama, chef at Kauai Community College. He's going to prepare some interesting breadfruit dishes. Hello, I'm Chef Marco Yama at Kauai Community College, uh, culinary program. Um, this is one of the dishes we created here. So, Kimchi Ulu Poki. Uh, the Ulu is grown at the Ulu Topia farm on, on the campus. And it's a very simple uh, recipe um, using cochujung sauce, some vinegar, sugar, sesame oil, and sesame seeds. Uh, we take the Ulu, we steam it, and then we fry it. And then we just mix it with the sauce. It is, um, it's delicious. I, I really like my Korean uh, flavors, so I created this dish. Hope you enjoy it. Mm. 